Okay, here's the drill. I have to shower with a clean washcloth, dry off with a clean towel, use a antibacterial soap in the shower. When we get out, there is a special cloth that we use to scrub the shoulder down. And then I must put on clean pajama top Aww. and sleep in that on clean sheets and clean pillowcase. But you don't sleep with a pajama top normally, do no, you? No, I don't, but I will tonight. And it's a 1961 model pajama <laughs> top from the Air Force Academy. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason it's not worn out is I never use it. Go to bed. I cannot eat anything or drink anything after 11 o'clock tonight. I have to get up about 5.30. Shower again. Same drill. Miss Lura will wash my shoulder off with a special antiseptic rag. Whatever does Miss Lura have special skills? She does. She at our end. She knows <laughs> how to do this stuff. Pajama top back on. Put a coat on. Take off to the hospital. And we have to be there 7 o'clock in the morning. It's like before sunrise. And they're going to replace <laughs> the entire shoulder. All because the shoulder will work like this with a bicep, but it won't work that way at all. So, they're going to fix it. And I asked okay. the doctor if I would be able to dunk a basketball, and he said, no. You never could before. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. This is my 1961 pajama top, which I plan to wear tonight <laughs> and tomorrow. All right. Go cat, go. Are you sure this is the shoulder? I think so. See the scar on it? It's already been done twice with the rotator cuff repair. I have to scrub for two minutes. Scrub it all, baby. Scrub it all. I will. And are you sad about losing your shoulder? I mean, you've had it for 83 years and 11 months. No. It quit <laughs> on me. It doesn't work anymore. You've had worse scratches on your eyeballs. I have. Numerous times, and I never cried. Why doesn't this soap fuzz up? All it's doing is killing the germs. Up, up. It's oh. antiseptic. Is it time to put on this? Yes. yes. I want to see it modeled. Talk about raggedy. <laughs> what do you mean raggedy? <laughs> That's Air Force best. Does it fit? I don't know. It used to. It fits. But I haven't had it on since 1961. Does it still have buttons? This is the top. Well, maybe. This is the yeah. middle. Yeah, there's a button. See? Yeah. Here's a button hole. I'll keep your wallet. I'll keep it for me, but they probably want to see my ID and my Medicare card or whatever when uh -huh. I get there. Maybe. I don't know. And then I'll take it from and there. you take it from there. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Okay. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. Early in the morning. Bye, Laura. <laughs> I'll call you and keep you updated. Okay. Just go ahead and sign right there, though. Dad, do you have an IV? Oh, uh, yes. They got it ready. Drip, drip, drip. But no happy juice yet. Nope. Not yet. But you seem fairly happy. Oh, yeah. I trust the doctors and I'm confident in their skills. So yes. We'll, we'll let them practice their skills. Did they tell you how long it would be? No. That Dr. Wolfram won't tell. Are you going to see him or you just... Yes, he'll be by. Okay. So will the anesthesiologist. Your rotator cuff is a little irregular, but it should be fine for a regular filled shoulder. Plus, your your glenoid doesn't have quite enough bone to probably even do a reverse total shoulder. So, uh, yours is going to be a regular total shoulder, okay. or not a reverse total shoulder. Okay. How long would it take? Uh, an hour and a half or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just what time is it now? Probably a little bit before nine. Quarter nine, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Eight forty-five. Yeah. If I just finished one, I started at about seven fifteen. So. Dang. You been working out, man? Huh? You been working out? Look at those guns. Ooh! Dr. Guns. I have a question. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Any special instructions, mate? You'll get them all tomorrow before you leave here. Oh, okay. No working out. Not that he goes and works out every day, but he does stuff, so he's yeah, just going to be immobile. Do, he can do, like, cardio. He can do, like, stationary bikes. He can do walking and stuff. Uh, just won't be doing any reaching for six weeks. Oh, six. Gotcha. Okay. Right, I'll see you in a minute. I'm with you. Thanks. Talk nice meeting you. you. Okay, good. Let me look at your airway. Pull your mask out for me. Open for me as wide as you can. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to be intubating. I'm not going to put a tube in your airway. I'm going to put a tube that sits above your airway. Okay. The nice thing about doing is the block, you won't sense much discomfort, so I'll just have to run a minimal amount of uh, anesthetic gas to keep you asleep, okay? Yeah. So you don't have much medical, many medical problems, I didn't see. Uh, 
I don't take any medicine. Okay. All right. Excellent. Well, we'll see you back there. I'll get you. Most of, my, most of my problems are tearing myself up. All right, right is. Well, injury. Myself apart injury. Yeah. All right. We're going to get you fixed up, okay? Okay. All right. We'll see you back there. Are you allergic to anything? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. We're not going to give you any no. of that. Good. When's the last time you had something to eat or drink? 9.30 last night. Any medication this morning? No, no medication. Okay. Any metal in your body? Plates, screws, jewelry? I got a false knee. On the left side? The left side. Okay. Anything loose in your mouth? Chipped teeth? No. Contact lenses in? No. Any questions for me? Can I go? Yeah. <laughs> You're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Adios, my friend. All right. Adios, Dad. Love you. Love you. I'll see you in a few hours. Yeah. You've been in this room since 1130? No, I've been out of surgery. You've been out of surgery since 1030. 1030, yeah. And I went into uh, recovery room. I was in there a while and came in here. been in here for a while. There's a light in your ear. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They're doing something. Taking a temperature or something. I don't know what it is. You've already had your dinner? But I had jello. I had chicken broth. And I had some orange juice. Yeah. So do you need to use the restroom? Yes. There was a young man came in for physical therapy a while ago. But I was on the phone with Laura. Mm -hmm. He said he'd come back. I'd get him to take me in. Does he know you have to go to the restroom, Dad? I don't have to go. I just will go. Okay. So there's the new arm. Wow. Dad, you've got bigger biceps now. <laughs> Good, maybe I can lift more. It is swollen, yeah. I yeah. can tell. It's full of water. Probably so. Or whatever it is they put in there. Where's the rest of your arm? Okay, in a it's, sling. It's here, yeah. Okay. And, and I can't move. And everything's dumb, numb right now, see. That's probably a good thing. That feels like somebody else's arm mm -hmm. or hand. That's good. And that's that nerve block that they put yeah. right here in your neck. Yes. So that's why you were able to come in and out of recovery really fast. Yeah, no problem at all. Here's what Dr. Wolferman said. He said your arm was immobile completely. It just didn't raise up and down. He said as soon as I finished I could raise it up and raise it down. And he said but it was almost just locked. It was just frozen there. He could move it up and down but he said for you to go from here to here like this mm -hmm. will take a while because it's okay. three years since it's been doing anything. I know. But the pain relief should happen almost immediately. The motion will be a while. So that's to be expected. You can dangle your arm down and do your little swirls like this okay. at least twice a day. But he said most people find it comfortable and what, like to do it. Okay. So let's hope that's the case yeah. with you as well. And then two weeks, you'll come and see him again and we'll have a new set of instructions. Okay. And here's somebody. Hello. Yeah. My name's Will. I'm the hospital doctor. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Will. So how you feeling? Great. Good. Been up and uh, moving around? No, I'm not having enough. Not, not yet. yet. Physical therapy hasn't been by. He did come by, but I was on the phone with my wife. Okay. And he said I'll come back. Okay. okay. Well, sounds good. Any uh, no nausea, vomiting, no. shortness of breath, chest pain, nothing like I that? I feel great. Wonderful. Wonderful. 83 years old and not on any medicine whatsoever? Zero. Wonderful. One of your nurses <laughs> asked me why. <laughs> she said, what do you attest that to? And I said, whiskey and chasing women. <laughs> Which is none of either. And he, <laughs> no, and he doesn't do wife. either of those. <laughs> <laughs> my wife heard me say that. She me <laughs> Maybe your wife is what, uh, is what kept you in such good shape. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's what I'd wager. Do you all have any questions for me? Yes. It's a lot warmer than this one. Yeah, it's much different. Mm-hmm. And if I can tell it, it's really warm. Uh -huh. And I can't make anything move. I can do it like that. I can, you know, pick it up. But that's, I have no control over that hand at all. Because uh -huh. of that nerve block in your neck. Yeah. When I try to lift this finger, for instance, I can feel a little tension in it, but it doesn't go anywhere. Uh -huh. Strange. <laughs> it is strange. Yeah. The no. nerve's been blocked. Yeah. I'll ask them when they come in if that arm should feel warm like that. That's probably why they put ice up here. I need to get it back up here since that's we've moved you. Mm -hmm. Finish up his uh, paperwork and uh, 
get us released. And then we got to go by Brookshire's and pick up a uh, painkiller. Okie dokie. See you later. All right. Bye bye. Are you out of here? I'm out of here. Awesome. Time to go. I'll meet you out front. Good morning, you're beautifuls. Are you missing your daddy? Are you? You know where he is? Your daddy had surgery on his shoulder. He's resting. Oh, he'll be okay. He's going to be okay. And he's going to come and visit you when he's better. Oh, you're going to nip me because you was feisty. You were feisty. Well, I'm going to show this video to your dad. And he's going to tell me about what's wrong with your nose. Really? You're going to tell me more about that? Mm hmm You're so cute. All right, I'm going to go in and see your dad. I'm going to get him better so he can come and play with you and pet you and love you and feed you. Because your Uncle Marty's feeding you now. Is that going well? <laughs> I feel a little better. I'm not at all hungry. I thought of food. It's, it's not any good. Do you feel weak from no. not eating? No. I would suggest before taking a Tylenol that you eat a little cracker or a bite of an English muffin or something. Yeah, I did that yesterday too. Did that help? I guess. It didn't, I didn't have any adverse reaction. Good. All right, so now here's some more of the ugly. You have to wear that sling in bed. I'm going to, baby. That sling binds me and hurts. It's supposed to bind you. And hurts. Well, then take more medicine. That makes you mad, I know. But that's the yeah. rules. You promise to go by protocol. Now, it's binding you where? It's binding your shoulder or binding your arm? My shoulder and my arm. It twists my shoulder and it hurts. Which way is it twisting it? Backwards? Well, All right, I'm going to call Dr. Wepperman's office. Lure just did that. She talked to the nurse. I don't know if that was the hospital or his office. I'll confirm. This is it, Dad. There's no do-over on this. So we don't want to screw it up. When was the last time you took a Tylenol? It was last night, I think. All right, I'm going to ask Laura. If you haven't had one in a while, I'm going to bring one in. We're going to take your medicine now because you haven't had it for 12 hours. Okay? Now I have it in here with some crackers. How do you want to sit up to do it? Take my feet off the bed. Okay. <clears throat> Don't mess with that arm. I want you to bend it like you have it in a sling, like you're supposed to have it in a sling, and protect it on your way up. I want you to give me a hand. Okay. Gotcha. Straight up, and then we'll sling the feet over. But don't pull on that shoulder. I'm not. I'm All just right. supporting you, Dad, so you don't fall. I don't fall. There you go. I don't fall. There's two. I called back to Whipperman's office about your sling. Okay. You're not going to like the, the response. I begged for a compromise. Are you willing to compromise? What well, compromise? <laughs> You'll compromise if you like the compromise. Mm -hmm. The compromise is if you do not want to wear your sling, which is against protocol, at night when you're in the bed, then every time you get up to use the bathroom, you're going to have to don it. You're going to have to, Dad. Wake Laura. She's willing for two weeks. You gotta think of it like a cast. It's just not a hard cast. I didn't want to wear my neck brace for six weeks straight either, but I had to. It was not comfortable, but I had to. Is that a good compromise? You'll wake Laura every time you need to get up just to put the sling on. Makes no sense to me. It may not, but you're not the doctor. That's why you're not performing these surgeries. You're just living no. through it. I understand that. Okay, and Why you're a compromising man. You're a compromising man. This I is your compromise. Say, you said that. Then do it. Why in the world would you put me in a position that hurts and then give me medicine to keep it from hurting? 
because it's protocol. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. It's protecting the shoulder. Yeah, because yeah, so at night you're not going to wear the sling. You're only going to put it on when you get up to use the bathroom, even if it's five seconds. Did uh, Dr. Wolfman tell you that? His nurse did. Remember when Wolfman, <coughs> I said, you're supposed to sleep in a recliner, and Wolfman said he can sleep in the bed if it's comfortable for him. Most people just prefer it. But he didn't yeah. say most people don't want to wear the sling, and if they prefer not to, they don't have to. So he gave you the chance to sleep in the bed without it, but and you're up and walking around, you have to wear the <coughs> sling. Now we're going to strap you down like a prisoner. It's already been done. It's already been done. Roll this pillow's going to prevent that bad, okay? All right. Can you cover my feet? Yep. <clears throat> well, it was good talk, Dad. Good compromise. We have it on record. <laughs> we have six out of ten horses laying down. Thanks, Katie. Anything? Is this too chilly, Dad? You want a jacket to put over your shoulders? Yeah, I wondered about that. It's the cold side. Are you going to make it around? I offered you a coat. Part of your field trip could be the office, Dad. Don't forget. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Look how good. That looks so much better. So much better. Now, what we haven't done are the pictures on the wall, but we'll, we'll work on that. I pulled your planes out a little bit further on the top. Doesn't that yeah, look better? It does. See that? Uh huh. Now, why are you breathing like that? Because you're tired, dizzy, or yeah. sore? Tired and sore. I'll do that one then. Shoot. That's nippy. It ain't gonna hurt me. That's not as far as the camp yesterday. Or somebody moved it. <laughs> I didn't move it. Don't look at me. I did. You almost got there, though. Ooh, that was higher than 2,000. Lord, that's enough of that. Okay. Dang. Dad had a bowl of soup today, homemade by Laura. That was yummy. Slept all afternoon. It's 2 o'clock and walked around until it was too breezy. So that is the documentation for today. And you agreed to wear your sling. I have it on record. Mm. You agreed for me to wear my sling. I agreed for you to wear it and you, <laughs> and you agreed. And you agreed to a, a compromise. Yes, because all great leaders are good compromisers. And I always thought you were a good leader. But the simplest thing is to leave it on. Right. Are you using your shoulder to do it or just momentum? Yeah. Mm. How does it feel? I don't know how to say it. It feels kind of dull up in my shoulder. Or an ache or just, no, feels it just feels weird? It just feels dull. It does not hurt. I have to go the other way now. I'm winding. <laughs> yeah, take it back to neutral here. And I asked him how the sling hurt. Does it hurt like on your chest? No. He said, no, it's right in the shoulder. Right on top of my shoulder. And I said, well, that's probably just pain and an incision. Well, well, point to it, Dad, where it right hurts. Right up in here. It's okay. Like, it's said like, it's like it's too tight or something. It's like it's pulling. It's like my elbow is jammed up too high in my shoulder. We can adjust that. Okay. Then that's what we'll do. We'll get it so it feels really comfortable. It should feel like security as opposed to right. torture. 
Okay. Like torture. Yeah, I don't need to watch you, so I know how to do it. You want to do your exercises before you put this on? I guess so, yeah. Either kicks. How many have I done? That must be 10. Well, I think any movement's good. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Can you do um, knee raises like you're marching? So yeah, you can do a little hip flexors? That yeah, that's good. That'll get your heart pumping. Two, three, four. <laughs> Getting off my count. I'm only supposed to do ten. It's giving me a hot flash. I'm starting to get hot just watching <laughs> you do it. You want to do any more circles? Yeah, I'll do another circle like that. That's the extent of the exercise for six weeks. Well, for two weeks, this is what you're going to do. Yeah. And on the second week, he might give you more protocol. But right now, I mean, I think he said it would be six weeks. It was good to do my fingers like that. Mm-hmm. That's good. I'm not sure why I made that. Don't you want to just lift it over your head and do it? That would hurt. <laughs> I can't even picture lifting it over my head. I can't even think it. You can think something, and then you think about it, and you kind of play it through your mind. You say, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. So I am with singing. You know, you hit a high note. I can't even think it. So I know I can't hit it. <laughs> no, but you try sometimes. I try, but it doesn't go there. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, so I'm putting the elbow part in that section. And then there's two rings, one and two. And that's what this is going to go through. Okay. So we're going to adjust the foamy part to where it feels comfortable. We're going to come through here, and we're going to pull this up where you feel comfy, Dad. That's far enough. Now it's not jamming your shoulder all up in the... No. Let like it hang. Then this also, he couldn't do this day one because his thumb was numb. But he can put his thumb in that. I can't see it because you're... Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then that just kind of mm. holds it there. See this tab? Mm -hmm. It comes back over this part right here. Okay. So that his arm doesn't, you know, go through yeah. this way. It keeps mm -hmm. it where it's supposed to be. I'm going to pull this back a little bit more, Dad. Thanks. And you're situated. How's that feel? That feels all right. I'm glad because... It's your outfit for six weeks. After two weeks, he only has to wear it when he's out of the house. Okay. That's what the man said. So if you be good, you'll be released early. I'll be good all the time. All right, you want to go eat some dinner now? But I'll be cantankerous. Yes, you do. It's going to hurt. Well, you've got everybody on Facebook and Instagram fussing and saying, listen to your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> she is right because I put hashtag daughter is right. And they're all they're all saying the same thing. Oh, of course. Right. Well, here's one thing I'm sad about. Dad's appetite is back. Dang it! I had my heart set on that pie. What are you eating, Laura? Raspberries are real creamy. Mm. I have nothing. <laughs> Poor Kelly. Laura's big on fruit. Mm -hmm. Yes, a lot of fruit. I think if I had to choose one thing, that's what I'd live on. Uh -huh. okay. <clears throat> and you could take thing, this off. Yeah. This is from his IV. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I feel so free. Aww. <laughs> cut way out front, didn't it? I thought they'd be more cut up here on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of did too. Man. That's like saran wrap. Is that hurting, Dad? Uh, yeah, he hates shaking tape of anything. It's uncomfortable. And this is killing the skin pretty good because it's so sticky. Yeah. This yeah. is really tight right there. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. It helps if you hold down the skin. Mm hmm. That's what I'm doing. Okay. <sighs> okay. It can be rough under your arm, too. Yeah, I can tell. Are you going to get it? Hot. There you go. <sighs> it's actually pulled some the skin. That's pulled the skin. Mm -hmm. Damn. Well, I got it, babe. Go, cat, go. <sighs> well, there you go, Dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I that's wonder if that's mirror. supposed to come off. He said to wash that with... Soap, soap and water. And, water and not use a rag. Just put right. soap and water. Just gently. 
But this strip, this starey strip that's on there? Yeah, I don't know about that. I wouldn't think so. You wouldn't think it's supposed to take it off? I wouldn't think so. I think that's holding the stitch together. See right there, you have actually staples. They're stapled. But we'll leave that on there, and if it comes off when you, well, I mean, in man. the water, yeah. then it just comes off in the water, right. but I wouldn't scrub it off. That, I'd like to put some Manuka honey on, Dad. Right. right here, where yeah, we just pulled it. your skin off. Yeah, I saw that. I felt right. that. Oh, yeah, we'll put some of that on there. Have a good shower. Toodaloo. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, whatever. And you got your new jammies on. Yeah. Oh. Your skin is irritated. It's all nope. get out. No kidding. He said there's one kind of underneath, too. And right there, it burns like the devil and getting yeah. water on There's it. one I know in this crack because yeah. pulling it off. See it yeah. right there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are not allowed to put Manuka honey on the incision. I right. asked about that. And right. he said, please know nothing for two weeks. Right. But we're just going to do around the area on the raw spots and then I think I'm going to put just a piece of paper towel over it because I don't want to put any more bandages on it. If you can, Dad. Open it up a little mm -hmm. bit. I just, I just yeah, want to go there. Little... She can get to it. Can you get to it like yep, that? Yep, sure can. I'll be right back. Still found it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh, a smile. <laughs> a smile is just for you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. This is the long one I'm going to put right here on this one. Okay. Okay, we're done now. Uh...